This presentation is done by Rahul Desai of Dr. D.Y. Paddle IHMCT Subject Advanced Food Production Systems Subject Code HS301. Meat is animal flesh that is eaten as food in most parts of the world. Humans have learned the art of domestication of animals such as chickens, sheep, rabbits, pigs and cattle and hence, they are capable to hunt and kill animals for meat consumption. Naturally, meat is mainly composed of water, proteins and fat. It is normally eaten after it has been cooked and seasoned or processed in a variety of ways. Red meat and white meat technically, when the myoglobin is exposed to oxygen, reddish oxymyoglobin develops making myoglobin rich meat appear red. The redness of the meat depends on species, animal age, and fiber type. On the other hand, white meat contains more broad fibers. Generally, the meat of adult mammals such as cows, sheep, and horses is considered as red, but the chicken and turkey breast meat is considered white and more healthier compared to red meat items. Different types of meat pork seafood The meat poultry here are many different types of meat in which it is being consumed. They are as follows red meat of adult mammals such as cows, sheep, and horses, etc. is considered as red. This type of meat majorly includes beef lamb mutton. Components of meat muscle tissue consists of these major components. Water 75% of muscle tissue with such a high percentage of water in meat, you can see why shrinkage can be a big problem in its cooking. Too much moisture loss means dry meat, loss of weight and loss of profit. Protein 20% of muscle tissue protein is an important nutrient and the most abundant solid material in meat. Protein coagulates when it is heated. This means it becomes firmer and loses moisture. Coagulation is related to doneness. When protein has coagulated to the desired degree, the meat is said to be done. Too high heat toughens protein. Fat up to 5% of muscle tissue of course there can be more fat surrounding the muscles. A beef carcass can have as much as 30% fat. Structure of meat Lean meat is composed of long, thin muscle fibers bound together in bundles. These determine the texture or grain of a piece of meat. Fine-grained meat is composed of small fibers bound in small bundles. Coarse textured meat has larger fibers. Feel the cut surface of a tenderloin steak and compare its smooth texture to the rough surface of brisket or bottom. Connective tissue muscle fibers are bound together in a network of proteins called connective tissues. Each muscle fiber is also covered in a sheath of connective tissue. It is very important for the cook to understand connective tissue for one basic reason. Connective tissue is tough. To cook meat successfully you should know which meats are high in connective tissue and which are low, and, what are the best ways to make meats tender. Elastin Elastin is a protein that forms the silver skin and ligaments in a cut of meat. It is what we would consider the wrestle part on a steak or other cut of meat. Regardless of cooking method or approach, gristle will always be tough and chewy as a result of the elastin proteins. For this reason, it is common practice to remove as much elastin connective tissue, or gristle, from a cut of meat before it cooked. Collagen Collagen is another common protein found in meat. It is responsible for sheathing the elongated muscle fibers that make up a cut of meat. You see, meat is made of these long muscle fibers, and each individual one is encased in coat of collagen. Furthermore, these elongated muscle fibers are bunched together to form larger muscle masses, which are also encased in collagen. These undles of meat fibers are known in the culinary industry as the reign of the meat. Interestingly, cartilage also contains collagen but it is not a type of connective tissue. Basic quality factors Fat in animal is found around the muscle fibers or between muscle fibers. Fat present in meat indicates the quality of meat as it gives good flavors. Color of meat Older animal have darker color meat and yellowish color fat. Younger animals have a lighter colored meat with firm dry creamy white fat. The tenderness of meat depend upon the food an animal is fed on. The thinner the grain more tender is meat. The amount of connective tissue is directly related to toughness of meat. The finer the grain the more tender is meat. The least used muscle have less connective tissue and are more tender than more used muscle with much connective tissues. 
age as the animal gets older it starts developing higher proportion of elastin that makes the meat harder or tough. Aging soon after slaughter, an animal muscles stiffen due to chemical changes in the flesh. This stiffness called rigor mortis gradually disappears. Softening takes place 3 to 4 days for beef, less time for smaller carcass like veal, lamb and pork. Enzymes in the flesh cause this softening. Aged meat enzyme action continues in muscle tissue even after meat is no longer green. This tenderizes the meat even more and develops more flavor. Holding meats in coolers under controlled conditions to provide time for this natural tenderizing is called aging. The three major types of aging are described as follows. Dry aging. Aging does not mean just storing meat in your refrigerator. There is a difference between aged meat and old meat. Temperature must be carefully monitored. Airflow and humidity must be controlled because bacteria will grow on cut surfaces if there is too much moisture. Fast aging. To speed aging meat can be held at a higher temperature and humidity for a shorter time. Ultraviolet lights to control bacteria are especially important in fast aging. Most fast aged meat is sold in the retail market rather than to food service establishments. Vacuum pack aging. The modern trend is to break down carcasses into smaller cuts and wrap them in iron moisture proof plastic bags. This is called critic aging. The wrapping protects the meat from bacteria and mold, and prevents weight loss due to drying. Beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle during butchering. Beef is first divided into primal cuts pieces of meat initially separated from the carcass. These are basic sections from which steaks and other subdivisions are cut. The term primal cut is quite different from prime cut, used to characterize cuts considered to be of higher quality. Since the animal's legs and neck muscles do the most work, they are the toughest parts. Beef cuts The most commonly used beef cuts are as follows chuck shank brisket rib short plate flank loin the round. Four quarter of beef beef chuck consisting of parts of the neck, shoulder blade, and upper arm. Beef chuck produces tough but very flavorful cuts of meat. Beef chuck is also excellent for making ground beef that produces juicy burgers. Chuck is further divided in I shoulder top blade beef rib made from the top part of the center section of rib specifically the sixth through the twelfth ribs the beef rib primal cut is used for the traditional standing rib roast also called prime rib more so parts of beef rib are back rib large end small end four quarter of beef beef plate also called the short plate or long plate depending on where it's separated from the rib primal above it the beef plate primal includes the short ribs. The beef plate is also fairly fatty, so it can be used in making ground beef. Beef brisket is one of the most flavorful cuts of meat, although it is tough and needs to be cooked in just the right way. It's also a moderately fatty cut of beef, but this can work to your advantage because it tenderizes into succulent, meaty perfection. Brisket is frequently used for making pot roast. Brisket is frequently used for making pot roast and it's the traditional choice for corned beef. Hindquarter of beef beef short loin moving on to the beef primal cuts from the hindquarter, or back of the animal, the short loin is where we find the most desirable cuts of meat. These include T-bone and porterhouse steaks, as well as the strip loin. Subparts are porterhouse, tenderloin, top line beef sirloin is another large section of the carcass that runs from the 13th rib all the way back to the hip bone and from the backbone clear down to the flank or belly some parts are bottom but tripe hind quarter of beef beef flank can be cooked on the grill since it has tough muscle fibers beef flank is also good for braising and it's often used for making ground beef beef round the beef round primal cut basically consists of the back leg of the steer Muscles from the round are fairly lean, but they're also tough because the leg and rump get a lot of exercise. Subparts are bottom, rump, top, eye. Lamb or sheep lamb, hogget and mutton are generically sheep meat. Lamb meat is most specifically the meat of domestic sheep. A sheep in its first year is a lamb and its meat is also called lamb. Lamb meat is considered to be more expensive than goat meat. Different cuts of lamb lamb cuts. They include head, neck, chuck, shoulder, ribs, breast, flank, loin, leg. The major cuts of lamb, four saddle, lamb, shoulder, the lamb primal cuts in the four saddle, which is the front of the animal. 
the lamb shoulder is often roasted, in which case it is usually boned and rolled. It can be stuffed as well. Lamb shoulder is also sometimes cut into chops, though these chops are not as desirable as the rib or loin chops. Lamb shoulder can also be cooked with moist heat, such as braising. Lamb rib sometimes called the hotel rack, the lamb rib primal cut is where we get some of the animal's most impressive looking cuts, lamb rib chops lamb crown roast, and rack of lamb. Lamb breast A lamb's breast, which is worked heavily whenever the animal moves, contains a lot of cartilage and other connective tissues. This makes the breast one of the few lamb primal cuts that needs to be cooked low and slow with moist heat. Lamb breast can also be used to make ground lamb. Lamb neck Another tougher cut with a lot of cartilage, the lamb neck is best used for making lamb stew. The major cuts of lamb hind saddle lamb loin lamb primal cuts from the back of the animal in saddle. This area is the source of the sum of the tenderest meat. The lamb loin is where we get lamb. Loin roast and lamb loin chops lamb sirloin The lamb sirloin is sometimes considered part of the leg primal cut, but it can also be prepared separately. In this case, it is frequently cut into chops or steaks and cooked using dry heat. The major cuts of hind saddle beef flank can be tough unless cooked with moist heat, so braising is best. Lamb flank can also be used for making ground lamb. Leg of lamb lamb can be cut into leg chops, though it is usually prepared whole and presented with pride at big family meals or on special occasions. Roasted leg of lamb studded with slivers of garlic and sprinkled with oregano and fresh lemon juice or red wine and surrounded by rough cut potatoes cooked in the pan juices, is a common preparation in Mediterranean countries. Cuts of pork The cuts of pork are the different parts of the pig which are consumed as food by humans. The type of each cut varies from country to country. There are between four and six cuts head blade shoulder loin spare ribs belly or side legs or ham's tail. Cuts of pork pork butt or Boston butt despite what its name might indicate, the pork butt, also called the Boston butt, comes from the upper shoulder of the hog, consisting of parts of the neck. Pork butt can be roasted or cut into steaks, butt shoulder blade and upper arm. The pork butt is a moderately tough cut of pork with a good deal of connective tissue. It is also well suited for braising and stewing or for making ground pork for sausages. Pork shoulder Another tough cut, the pork shoulder also called the picnic shoulder is frequently cured or smoked. Pork shoulder is also used for making ground pork or sausage meat. Cuts of pork pork loin The entire pork loin can be roasted or it can be cut into individual chops or cutlets. The tenderloin is taken from the rear of the pork loin. Ham The back leg of the hog is where we get fresh, smoked or cured hams. Serrano ham and prosciutto are made from hams that are cured, smoked and then air dried. Fresh hams are usually roasted, but they can be cut into ham steaks as well. Cuts of pork pork side pork belly The pork side also called the pork belly is where we get pancetta and bacon pork belly meat can also be rolled and roasted or even cut into steaks. Pork spare ribs taken from the belly side of the ribs where they join the breastbone. Pork spare ribs are often prepared by pork jowl. The pork jowl is mostly used in making sausages, although it can also be cured and made into bacon. Pork foot high in collagen. Pork feet are excellent sources of gelatin and are frequently added to soups and stews. Meat. Pork feet can also be cured, smoked. Poultry is a very essential element of non-veg production in India and rest of the world as well. The major items of poultry includes chicken turkey. Different cuts of chicken. A chicken can either be used as a whole bird or be divided into four different cuts. The drumstick wing thigh breast. The drumstick A drumstick is produced by cutting a whole leg of the chicken through the joint between the tibia and the femur of the animal. The thigh is removed. The drumstick consists of the drumstick and patella of the chicken. Wing A whole wing is produced by cutting the wing from a whole bird without giblets at the joint between the humerus and the backbone. The wing consists three segments. Thigh obtained by cutting at the natural seam through the hip joint. The leg includes the thigh and drumstick jointed or disjointed and may include pelvic meat. Breast the most non-bone muscular part.